excited about this makeup tutorial. It is an all affordable drugstore makeup, but it is full coverage and it is a matte finish, which is good for both mature skin and younger skin. So yeah, went to Target and got some stuff. So let's get started. Starting off, we're going to apply some coconut oil. This primes and moisturizes your face and no matter your skin type, it won't make you look oily. And excuse the hair, it was not a good hair day. Next we're going to be using L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm in the shade True Beige N5. I'm going to be applying it with cosmetic wedges. You can really get them anywhere. I think I got mine at HEB. Starting with my forehead, I'm just going to be rubbing that on with the sponge and I'm just going to work my way down my face. It does look a little bit darker than my skin tone. But once I put it all on and it's all applied evenly, it does match with my neck. After I applied the foundation evenly, I put a little bit more on the sponge and I'm really focusing mainly on my problem areas just so that I get that a little bit more coverage and it'll look flawless. Time to conceal. Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know, but now they know. No, just me. Anyways, I'm going to be using CoverGirl concealer in the shade Fair Claire and it is a lot lighter than my skin tone but when you're using a drugstore concealer you do want to go lighter than your regular concealer because the pigment is not as good as a higher end concealer so the lighter the better that way it does show up once you blend it out. never want to put bronzer over liquid foundation because it won't blend easily so after all the liquid foundation is done we're going to be going in with stay matte powder by NYX in the shade Sienna I'm going to be using it as a tinted setting powder this will help even out my skin even more and will get me ready for all the other powders that we're going to be applying bronzing with wet n wild color icon bronzer and it's in the shade ticket to brazil or number 739 i'm not really sure which one is the name of the shade but one of those is it Y'all try to get in the habit of bronzing your neck and underneath your chin and around your jawline because it will help emphasize your jawline, which will help kind of give you a lifted look. So 
I'm kind of cheating with this one. I'm going to be going in with Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Caramel. In all honesty, I haven't really started penciling my eyebrows until this year. So I haven't found a drugstore eye pencil or eyebrow pencil that I absolutely love. So yeah, but when I do, I will let y'all know. On to the lids. I'm going to be using Made for Matte Eyeshadow Palette by e.l.f. It doesn't have the names of the colors, but I'm going to be going to start in the corner of my eye with the lightest shade. So here's a little tip. If you're trying to open up your eyes, you always want to lean towards the lightest shade going in the inner part of your eye towards your tear ducts. Because by having the lightest color on the inner corner and the darkest color on the outer corner, that really helps open up your eyes and give you a well-rested look. After that, we are going to go in with a fluffy brush by Eco Tools, and we're going to be going in with one of the brown shades. It almost looks like kind of like a camel color. We're going to be using that as our transition in our crease. I hate that this palette doesn't have the names of the shades on them, but we're going to be going in with a kind of chocolate color and slowly transitioning to the warmer shades. When you load up your brush, make sure you start on the outer corner and then slowly transition and bring the excess powder to the inner corner of your eye. That way, the darker shade is on the outside and the lighter shade is on the inside, going back to opening up our eyes and making sure that we have that well-rested, youthful look. Going in with the same brush that I used the lighter shade on, I'm going to be picking up some more of that same light shade and I'm going to be going over what I already did on my inner corner just to brighten it up just a little bit more. Then I'm going to use the excess powder that I have on that brush just to brush away the darkness that kind of fell below the corner of my eye. That way I still have that lifted look. I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner in Black is Black. I already did a little bit of my eyeliner, but I'm so OCD about my eyeliner that it takes so long, so I skip past some of the parts. Um, but I'm just going to be going in and I'm going to be giving myself a little bit of a wing and then bringing it down to my bottom lash line.
into the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. We're going to be using one of the darkest shades and we're going to be loading one of these small precision brushes and adding that to the outside corner just to help open the eye up just a little bit more. On to eyelashes, we're going to be using Lash Blast Fusion by CoverGirl. It's definitely one of my favorite mascaras from the drugstore. It honestly might be one of my favorites, period. But yeah, so we're just going to be coating our lashes just lightly so that we prep them for the falsies. Excuse my little happy dance, I just love false lashes. I'm going to be using the Glamour Lashes by Ardell and then the Clear Duo Glue. Make sure you let them dry for about 30 seconds to a minute just so that they become tacky before you put them on. If not, they will slide. Start by putting them on in the middle of your lashes and then put the outer corner on before putting the inner corner on. That way the inner corner gets a little extra time to dry and it will stick directly where you put it. Use tweezers just to get it really close to your lash line. Be careful using regular tweezers. You might want to start off by using the tweezers that come in the pack if this is your first time doing false lashes. I've just been using false lashes for so long that I'm comfortable doing the actual tweezers and getting them up close to my eye. After the eyelashes are set, we're going to go back in with the Blackest Black Gel Liner by L'Oreal and we're just going to be covering up the lash line. That way it blends a lot better with our liner. going to go back in with the mascara and we're just going to take the brush and wiggle it back and forth on our lash line. That way we just blend our natural lashes with the falsies. Then we're going to go down and we are going to apply it to our bottom lash line. Excuse the faces that I'm making, I'm pretty sure we all do it. to take a quick second there to love on my baby but moving on to lips we're going to be using covergirl in the shade cream it's kind of a pinky nude which i absolutely love and the pigment of this lipstick is really good for a drugstore lipstick because it doesn't crack over time and it also doesn't dry out your lips To finish off this look, we're going to be using a setting spray by NYX called Matte Finish. I absolutely love this setting spray because it does really mattify everything. It smells great and it feels great on your skin. A little tip, if you do have mature skin, you do want to stay matte because by having shimmer, it will show your fine lines and wrinkles. Well, that concludes this look. I hope y'all loved it and I hope that y'all got a lot of tips and tricks from it. I will be linking all of the products that I use below so y'all can go and look at all the different stuff that I use and I'll have the name and the color that I use also. So yeah, that concludes this look. So I guess I'll see y'all next week. Can't wait.